Good day. So today we're going to be installing and reviewing the ProClip mount for smartphones for the BMW X3 series. Um, this probably covers everything from 18 through 21 at least that I know of. And it's going to go through what you get and what it takes to install. And I'm going to do my best. I don't have a channel here, but I like the product a lot, and I didn't see any reviews or any kind of instructions for it online, so I thought I'd post something. Thanks. So this is what you get. You have to order two parts. You have to order the part that mounts to the vehicle, and they give you a tool. And then the clip itself, which is a little flexible, as we're going to find out. It uh, swivels, which I like, and some screws. And it looks like it's not going to take uh, more than a, a screwdriver to install. And um, that's what you get. So the first part of this is fitting the phone to the holder. Uh, the holder looks like it has some grooves out there on the edges like you'd expect and there's a couple screws in here which you can work with. In the back it's going to use these four points to mount. But first it says to fit the phone to the device. Um, so we'll do that. By loosening these two screws, it says not to remove them. And then uh, you can pull these. You can see it pulling apart. So this is pretty flexible actually. It's opened up a good half an inch. Um, I'm going to have two devices using this, but most of the time it's going to be the phone that's filming this. So um, once you've opened those two screws up um, and take the device, this is a OnePlus device, and fit it kind of down there and then kind of squeeze the side so that it's about as firm of a hold as you can get uh, with it being it kind of naturally sits in the bottom uh, here it doesn't want to slide out so that's good and then I guess not touching anything else just uh, remove the device set it aside and then just tighten down the screws a little bit I don't know how firm you want to get with those, but uh, probably doesn't require much. And so that is that. And I guess I want a, a more of a firm uh, than not, because I think while it's going to be in an upright position a lot of the time, uh, this is a swivel base, and I might want to have it at this angle, landscape. So anyway, that's that. So next, they mention that um, you should not attach the two together until you're done putting the mounting clip in the car. So we won't do that. But they do mention that you're going to need to separate the back from the front of the clip here. And that's done with one screw right here in the middle. And they say that um, you can unscrew it. But it won't come out any further than it won't the screw won't come out all the way, so it'll stay in there. But you should be able to uh, pop pop the back off. You can see where that inserts in a little square fashion, and then there's a receiver. Looks like a brass nut. 
and then that's done. So you're going to need to um, affix this using the four screws um, to the clip once the you know once the mounting plate is in place. There's four screws that would go in that sort of a fairly obvious fashion, I guess. And that's that. So inside the vehicle, uh, let me get a little light. Hopefully that's a good enough light. Um, this piece is supposed to go in here, and actually it slides in pretty easily. It'll go in quite a ways, and it has no trouble going anywhere. I guess if you wanted to, you might even install it here if you were okay with putting this up against your monitor. This model of the X3, I didn't get all the communications and navigations upgrades that are possible, and so uh, when you don't get those things, then you don't get the 10 inch screen, which comes all the way out here. So I'm gonna say that 95% of X3 owners are going to um, have that piece come out significantly further and it may impact your decision a little more as you might be coming into an area like this which is closer to the screen itself. Um, I want to try to keep it on the sides of the vents but it looks like if I wanted to I could even get it in here you know if that wasn't such a big deal. Actually the, the steering wheel kind of blocks this so that's bad. If I wanted to maybe I could put it in front of this thing here. If I wasn't too concerned about hitting the monitor or something, or damaging that, uh, which I'm going to stay away from. Um, there's a light strip over here, and I think it doesn't feel like it goes in quite as good over there. It kind of feels like it's hitting the light strip, um, which ends like here. So I think just for aesthetics, I might just put it right at the end of this black piece here where that kind of transitions into a lighter material and have that resting there and then have that come up and clip in the top. Uh, I haven't done this so and then you'll I'll put the screws in here and I think just to get an idea it's going to sit out here. That's pretty far out. But uh, it's not a bad place, I think. It's not going to get in too much of the way of the air conditioning vent, which I'm kind of hoping to avoid. So I'm going to take a um, look at this and get back. Okay, so that said, we're going to give this a try. Now, if I probably worked in the uh, in auto interiors, let me get a brighter light on this. If I worked with auto interiors, I'd probably be more forceful on this than I'm really going to be. But, um, that's tight. So that's in there. Definitely going to be close. Let's hope that's enough. Okay. Well, that's not going anywhere. Okay. So that's in place, and that was easy. Okay, back. So let me get some light. And just in case that last part didn't come out, I did start the four screws just by um, taking one of the screws and running it up there against the unit. But I think I may have blocked the viewfinder on the K 
camera when I did that. So, um, I'm probably going to leave this out because this looks a little boring. Putting in four screws. But that's what we're doing right now. You know, this pro clip is really attached to the dash. I've got no fear at all. I mean, I'm really putting some pressure on this thing when I'm screwing them in. And um, I don't feel like the clip is going to uh, come off the dash at all. It's pretty solid. Let me attach all four, and then I'll come back. So that plate's in place. I was careful not to over torque down the metal screws into the plastic base plate. Uh, the next part's going to be reattaching by aligning this square opening on the back with this square plate opening and using a Phillips screwdriver to get that on there. You should feel the screw engage and that's that. And that's not too tight and that's adjustable so I'm happy with that. And um, finally just take the phone and drop that into place. Now that's not bad. I mean, uh, there's there's some swivel capability here. It's not a, a terribly large amount. Um, the swivel allows you to, you know, if you're watching Hulu or something, Netflix, that's going to be real easy. And it doesn't block too much of the air. The air is going to mostly be going down most of the time or straight forward. And this is out of the way enough. Like if I had clipped it a little more this way, I'd have been blocking more. And I got... As far as charging goes, I've got a small anchor cable here. Let me just get it. Okay, so as far as charging goes, let's see if I can get a cable on this. Um, I don't know if that my viewfinder is not really going to show this, but USB type C connector to a typical USB port. So a short cable would be better. Um, this is not ideal, obviously. Let's see, I've got a smaller one. I wonder if that's going to work. This is just the one that comes with the car, so... Um, oh, no. That's just going to be about two inches short. This is 12 inches, so that makes it going to be about 15 inches to be a direct shot. And then obviously when you swivel this, if you swivel this way, uh, you're looking at about, oh, I'd say about 18 inches. And this way, maybe even a little bit more. Again, about five or six more inches would be good on that. So the cable is more than one foot. Um, so I've got a three foot cable and I'll probably end up with a two foot cable when I'm done with this, but that's uh it's a little bit of a kludge, but you're not gonna get wireless charging from over there. So yeah. Hopefully that comes out. Um heck I couldn't even afford uh wireless charging in the bay down here, so uh, that's it. Um, let's see if I can zoom out. I can't zoom out. Let's get.
going to be about it. Um, hope this helps. I put this video together because mostly um, I didn't see a single one on YouTube. And I thought the installation would be pretty easy. I can still slide this out of here pretty easy. Or get it in there. I mean, however you want it. Uh, I can tell you, I watch a lot of sports. And this is going to be like in the landscape orientation a lot. So I'm really going to appreciate this. Uh, it's pretty quick and easy if you want to move it. Looks to be. And um, so I just... Hoping to demonstrate that the the install was pretty quick. I mean, I, I I think I made it look harder than it really was. It's just it's just four screws, and other than the the tool they give you, uh, I just used a screwdriver, and that's it. So hope this helps somebody.